Hello guys, I am Rajveer, VLSI Design Intern in MediaTek. Since this is my first video, so I will be sharing some, some background about me. So I have done my VTEC in Electrical Engineering from KNIT Sultanpur UP. And after that I given gate and uh, I joined NIT Raoke Lab uh, VLSI Design Specialization for MTech. Okay. So uh, after my first semester, uh, like media tech came in our college, so I gave a written test, and in that I was shortlisted and I was happy. So, so uh, I will like to share my internship experience in this video. So interview was started uh, with the uh, topics I mentioned in resume. I mentioned my B Tech project, which was based on microcontroller. So he started from there, and he asked about my project. And since uh, I have done my B.Tech in Electrical Engineering, so that project was mixture of Electrical and Electronics. So he asked me like, uh, can you implement that project using Electronics uh, equipments only? So I I tell them I tell that like uh, some some of the equipments we have to take from Electrical side and others we can replace with Electronics. So all those things I tell. And I also answered his questions about like uh, I can implement a finite state machine for my B.Tech project. Like, is there any way we can make a finite state machine for that? So I answered that. And after that, he shifted to like proper VLSI questions. So I will like to share a important subjects which I already told however in my older videos. So digital IC design, digital electronics, low power concepts, computer architecture, memory types, and its interfacing were some important topics for me in the interview. So in digital electronics, he uh, asked me like about encoder, priority encoder, comparator, all those things. Like how, what is their use, how, how we can design those, what is the use in circuit, what is the optimized way to design them. And in sequential, he asked about some counters, registers, what is the uh, difference between latches and flop. These things were asked. So, and in digital IC design, like uh, uh, CMOS logic and uh, power dissipation in CMOS circuits after that uh, coding of uh, latch using MUX and coding of flip flop using MUX and setup and hold time issues in that like uh, what is uh, what is setup time, what is hold time uh, if setup violation occurs then how will you how you will solving it what are the ways to solve uh, hold time violations and which way will be effective in which situation and uh, all those things like you have you need to have a very brief idea about that you should know each and everything uh, how setup violation can be, can be resolved in and in what situation what will you will be preferring like there are so many ways to resolve setup situation so you have to you have to tell the way based on the application like uh, in always you cannot increase or decrease frequency because uh, for some cases it is fixed so you have to you have to find some other ways like combinational path delay you have to adjust that to like remove those setup and hold violations so after that he asked me some low power VLSI concepts related to threshold voltage and some clock gating concepts like uh, have you heard about clock gating and what is it all those things so these are the topics uh, on which interview was focused and if I if I go to like uh, architectural things, then pipeline, latency, throughput, static, these type of terms, and uh, meta stability delay analysis also necessary. So whatever is there in digital electronics and digital IC design, which I have told in my other two videos, you you should read that and you have to read that because these are the very important subjects. So uh, now I will come to the, I, I mentioned that uh, I know about C and Verilog only. So most of the questions were from Verilog, like uh, some simple questions from Verilog, write code for MUX, write code for shifter, write code for some specific counter like BCD counter, what is binary to gray coding, all those things. And proper understanding of always block, difference between blocking and non-blocking assignment and uh, so I example what and so the difference using an example okay so uh, some FSM was given and I need to code that and uh, some random algorithm co coding so these type of questions were then in very long like it was not very tough 
tough questions but it uh, but you can answer those questions if your basics uh, for very dog are clear so if you go through the like nptel series with hardware modeling using very log which is taught by our like iit kharagpur faculty indranil chand gupta so he had like you know ne bahut hi acha padhaya hai so everyone should at least uh, see that playlist for very log and in some optimization questions where we need to optimize the circuit based on area of leak power like they can give you some arithmetical equation and you have to make a proper circuit of leak data path for that and like uh, not not all like uh, data path should not be like that it is using so much of power right? like unnecessary elements you have used you have to go with the optimized setting suppose you uh, suppose he given you a data a problem and you made a circuit so he will cross question you like uh, you are wasting power there or you are uh, utilizing more area so you have to think A- anyone cannot answer these questions in one go so they will give you hint and using those hint you have to think you cannot sit idle like ab mere se nahi hoga so keep thinking during interview and uh, after thinking uh, after once you like focus then Since you have read basics, so some idea will be there. Like uh, by this way, I can solve easily. And after all those things, uh, after like uh, approx ninety minutes, uh, some basic aptitude questions were there, so which I answered. So overall experience was good, and uh, I. So, मैं ये बताना चाहता हूँ कि इंटरव्यू में मतलब आपको एकदम जैसे कि कोई टफ प्रॉब्लम है तो आपको एकदम गिव अप नहीं कर देना चाहिए यू शुड थिंक अबाउट दैट एंड इंटरव्यूअर आल्सो गिव्स यू हिंट्स टू सॉल्व दोज क्रिटिकल प्रॉब्लम्स एंड जो भी उन फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चंस थे आई ऑलमोस्ट आंसर्ड एवरी क्वेश्चन अप्रॉक्स नाइन्टी ऑफ दिन एंड जो क्रिटिकल क्वेश्चन थे वो मतलब मैंने पूरे पूरे नहीं कर दिए थे सही से कि लाइक हंड्रेड आंसर करेक्ट है या मैंने सबसे मतलब बेस्ट सर्किट प्रोवाइड कर दिया उसके लिए बट या लाइक आई वॉज सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स एंड आई वॉज लाइक आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व दैम एंड आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू रीच द सोल्यूशन सो ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है कि मतलब सॉल्व भी कर देना है बट यू हैव टू ट्राई सो माई फाइनल सजेशन वुड बी टू लिसन इंटरव्यू केयरफुली एंड लिसन हिज वर्ड्स make your face expression like uh, not too happy or not too sad like be confident and uh, whatever he asks apply basics and there will be some answer so that's why basics are there if you know basics then then using hints you can reach the solution so that's all thank you thank you for watching my video